So we have a new quarterly platform release. Android 15's latest QPR2 beta 1 is here. We have installed on our Pixel 8 Pro right now. The changes and everything which are available in this one. We'll talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This is basically another beta update. The stable rollout based on QPR2 might be available with February. But for now, this is what we have. If you are using Pixel device, you will notice one of the major differences and that is with the kernel version. Now, the kernel version is 6.1.99. Previously, it was with version 5. Now, it is at version 6. As you can see, the previous screenshot right now, it was at 5.15.153. So, this is one of the changes which you will get in the Pixel. Almost every supported Pixel device, the kernel version is now upgraded. This is one of the changes which is available in this case. Secondly, if you are able to notice the themed icons, it's a quite minor change, but it is actually noticeable. This is the default one, the previous one, if you're using Android 15 right now, previous updates, as you can see, the icons were a bit light. And in this case, you can see these icons are now bright. In my personal opinion, I love the bright icons. This is the default one, the previous one, basically, and this is the now the one I've installed on my device. Another thing which I found here is at least they fixed something, some bugs here. If you're able to notice, we have some long app names visible. That's the option was already there. If you click on home settings and click on apps list setting, even if you have enabled the show long app names option, if you are using previous Android 15 update, not the one I'm making video right now, you might notice even after enabling this option, apps were not able to show you the full uh, long app names. But after using this one, let me show the previous screenshot. This is the one. As you can see, even after enabling that option, the cube ACR option and high shoot to I, these names were just not visible. So this is a very good thing. This change was introduced. Basically, this is now fixed. Another thing is what is actually the major difference or you can say one of the only major changes with Android 15 latest update is now we have the mods available. In case you don't know, it is almost similar to iOS now. iOS also introduces the focus mode. So we have these kind of mods available with Android 15 latest update of QPR2 beta 1. So you can customize these mods and you can create your own mode. For example, in this case, if I choose custom, I can choose the name. I can choose the icon for that. We have a lot of icons available. So just for an example, let me try to enable. Let me try to add this kind of thing. For example, this. Click on done. Now you can configure a lot of things here. You can allow the all notifications. You can allow notifications from certain apps, even in a certain app. For example, if I choose any app, for example, we have one DM plus. I can even choose the notification only download notifications. What I want, no other notifications. So this is how I can configure. I can customize. Also, we have some options and tweaks related to display. So yes, there are a lot of changes available with the mods. Not exactly sure how many of you use this feature, but in case you use it, this could be a very useful thing for you. Basically, do not disturb mode is now renamed to these mods options. And of course, having some more options to configure, that is basically a change. And you can say for some of you, this might be a very useful thing. Other than else, we do not have any major changes and this mods option is available even in the settings app too. It's not directly accessible from the quick settings panel. I mean to say it is there, but it's not only there. It is available in the settings app already. One thing which is not enabled by default, but quite excited and all credits goes to Mishal Rahman for this. You can see now we finally have the icon shape and layout options coming. Not exactly sure, but maybe with this new update, it's not here. Maybe with the upcoming updates. The thing which were already present, which was already present with the previous Android versions, Android 9, 10, 11, as far as I know, you could have customized icon shapes and colors, and that is finally coming back. So that's quite exciting, quite impressive option. Other than else, I was actually looking forward to some more options, some more configurations, some more customizations or features. Unfortunately, nothing happened yet. By the way, in case you don't know, Android 16 might introduce new quick settings panel which I've shared already with you the video, the information. So if you want to know more about that, make sure to check out that video. I will link that in the I button. So yes, these are the things just wanted to let you know. This is about the changes. Let me know. How do you feel about this new Android QPR update? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.